Hi, I'm Claudine Helmuth and I'm here at the Ranger booth at CHA Summer and I'm going to show you a quick and easy transfer technique. This is what the finished transfer technique looks like and what we're going to be using to transfer is actually acrylic paint. This is the Claudine Helmuth Studio acrylic paint and this is in painterly pink but you could use any of the colors. And what we're going to do is be painting right on the sticky back canvas. This is the self-adhesive sticky back canvas, so you can see the adhesive backing there. We're going to just take the paint, and we're going to layer it up kind of like buttered bread. You want to cover the whole surface where you want your transfer to go. You want to make sure you have enough paint so that you have enough for your image to transfer into. That should be good. So you can see I create lines in the paint. So it's not a thin layer of paint, but it's also not a super thick layer of paint. This is just a laser copy, so it's not an inkjet print. And I'm going to place it face down directly into the wet paint and rub the back to make sure there's good adhesion. And then you want to make sure that dries all the way. You could dry it either using the, the craft tool I would dry this for a good five minutes even using the craft tool or you can set it aside and come back to it when it's dry. This is one that I did actually yesterday and now it's completely dried. The number one thing that can go wrong with this technique is not having it completely dry. So you want to make sure it's dried all the way. It's tempting to want to see the transfer happen. So you want to hurry it up, but it's better to just wait and make sure it dries. I'm just spraying with the mini mister filled with water, and you can see it's made a little puddle onto the sticky back canvas, and you can start to see the back of the copy showing through. Now I'm just going to take my fingers and start to rub gently. And this takes a few minutes. This might be a good project to do in front of the TV. You could see you're rubbing. And as you remove that paper pulp, your image is revealed. So if you've done an image transfer before, you know that you can be rubbing and rubbing and rubbing the paper pulp off. And then when you let it dry, you get these little fuzzies that um, are there and it, it sort of it gets in the way of the image. Now you have two choices. You can either keep wetting it and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing more and more and more until you've removed all the fuzzies. Or the other option is to use the multimedium in gloss. And what you want to do is just get a little bit on your finger and you want to rub it in like you're rubbing in face cream. So you want to massage it in completely into the transfer. And what this is going to do, the resins in the gloss medium completely soak into the little paper fuzzies and make them completely transparent. This does not work with the multimedium in matte. It only works with the gloss multimedium. So you massage it in all the way until all of those fuzzies are gone and then you don't have to worry about them. It only also works when there's a tiny bit of fuzzies. Don't get lazy and only rub a little bit of the paper off and then think that the gloss medium is going to work the rest of the way for you. It only works with those last little pesky fuzzies that are on there. So that's a really quick and easy way to do an image transfer directly into acrylic paint. Now you can use any acrylic paint color, any color that you like you can use. And, or you can use the multimedium if you want a clear transfer, you just follow the same exact steps.